So if you've seen some of my videos before, you may have noticed all of these crazy pictures that I have on the wall. And if you must know, it is just a portion of my crazy huge autograph collection. It all started June 2011 when my dad brought me and my family to our very first WWE event, which was the WWE Super Show at IZOD Center, June 18, 2011. And that night before the show started, my dad had a friend who worked at IZOD Center who gave me one of the programs that they were selling at the show. And I opened it and it had tons of autographs from different wrestlers. Guys like Sin Cara, the Bella Twins, Cody Rhodes, Wade Barrett, Alex Riley is in there too. CM Punk is on there too. We actually met him later that night after the events. But anyways, I was looking at them and I was like, wow, like this is cool. I have to collect as much as I can. <laughs> and since then, I have never sold an autograph. They, I never traded one. I mean, I've given some away as like birthday gifts. Like for example, I got my mom a um, Post Malone autograph for her birthday last year. So in this video, I'm gonna show you at least most of the autographs that I have. So without further ado, let's go! So most of them that you're about to see on the wall are mostly wrestlers and actors. We're gonna start on this wall. Now this is all wrestlers. So these two pieces right here, Shinsuke Nakamura and AJ Styles, I got both of these on the same night when I went to WWE Backlash about two years ago. And right before we left, I bought these from the gift shop. And these are the only autographs they had, but it was cool. These two guys right here, I got from a website called pristineauction.com. I'm not sure why I got Jimmy Hart from Pristine Auction because I think I paid, I think 12 bucks for it. I could have gotten one for maybe less, but I got it and it's pretty cool. And this is one of my favorites. It's Kevin Nash, X-Pac, and Scott Hall. And it is GSA verified, which is pretty cool. For those that don't know, there are authentication companies such as JSA, and the most popular is PSA DNA. Here are the Dudley Boys right here. I got them at an estate sale. This is from when I met Mick Foley and I asked him if he could sign this as all three characters. I brought this photo to have him sign and I have a picture of him signing it so you know it's real. This is another one of the first in-person autographs I got. It is Bret the Hitman Hart. He is the first WWE Hall of Famer that I met and yeah, he was very down to earth. We met him at WWE WrestleMania Access 29 uh, in 2013, I think it was. And we were like the last people that he got and really nice. And on the same day that I met Mick Foley, I met Enzo and Big Cass and I I got a dual signed photo from them and I took a picture, pretty cool. Another one of my favorites is Jeff and Matt Hardy, the Hardy Boys. I actually got this from a guy who got them in person that I bought it off him. Roman Reigns, pretty much the same thing as I got to Shinsuke and AJ. I got it at Madison Square Garden where we saw The Undertaker actually, at the last time he performed at Madison Square Garden and they were selling these at the gift shop. Here is my very first John Cena autograph. This is one of the oldest autographs in my collection. I got it July, 2013. This is one of the first autographs that I spent a lot of money on. This is $120 and it is Hulk Hogan, which I got from a sports memorabilia shop in my mall. Next we got The Boogeyman, this is from when I met him the same day I met Enzo. He wrote to Jacob, I'm coming to get you, Boogeyman, WWE legend. Another Hall of Famer, we have Shawn Michaels. Here's Paul Bearer, Ricky Steamboat that I got at pristineauction.com. Here's Kane and The Undertaker, The Usos, New Age Outlaws, Bruno San Martino. Here's the second John Cena I have. Here's a personalized Renee Young, personalized John Moxley or Dean Ambrose, another Undertaker, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Post Malone I have, Vic DiBattetto, the current lineup of Kiss, which is probably the first in-person autographs that I got when I saw them in, I think it was 2012. Sebastian Maniscalco, which I got as a gift. A Cody Rhodes, which I got in person. One of my oldest autographs, which is Jack Haley, who played Tin Man in The Wizard of Oz. Here's Ed. Kurt Angle, Rey Mysterio, me and Gene Okerlund, Leslie David Baker, personalized to me, a personalized Booker T, Stan Lee, Jake Lomato, which we got in person, a Sylvester Stallone, Skylar Gray, the metal band Biohazard, D. Snyder that I got in person, and he wrote the Twisted Sister logo, Ace Freely, which I got at a show, Tracy Morgan, Eric Singer, Eminem, also got Dick Van Dyke, Joe Exotic, George Lopez, Rosemary Harris, Frank Abagnale, Pat Carroll, Ryback, John Hedder, Jim Ross, the band Sick of It All, the band Suicidal Tendencies, Drew Stone, Gary Schwartz, Tito Santana, Christopher Lloyd, Jim Carrey, Steve Carell, Tommy Wiseau, Ray Bulger, the LA Beast, Kurt Hawkins, Teddy Long, Louise Fletcher, Wade Boggs, Ed Asner, Terry Funk, Carlito, Ted DiBiase, Tommy Thera, Kamala, Ricky Steamboat, Kenny Baker, Jason Wingreen, Ray Romano, Wallace Shawn, Steve-O, Cesaro and Sheamus, Martin Scorsese, Dave Batista, Cindy Lauper, Vanna White and Paz Dejac, Tommy Dreamer, Bret Hart I got through the mail, Dana Brooke, Heather Legenkamp, Larry the Cable Guy, Jeff Foxworthy, Jerry the King Lawler, Olivia de Havilland, The Psycho Family, Mike Tyson, Rhett and Link, Mickey Mantle, Toby Turner, Dale Earnhardt Sr., Lynn manuel Miranda, The Original Wiggles, Plus Captain Feathersword, Ian McDermott, Doink the Clown, Mini Doink the Clown, Randy Orton, Abdel Nader, Tyler Kavanaugh, Eva Marie, Ron Simmons, Larry Zabisco, Jack Swagger, Weird Al Yankovic, Joey Styles, John Grayus, Peter Coyote, Guy Fieri, Karen Allen, Conrad Vernon, John Ratzenberger, Pat Patterson, Joanne Worley, Angela Lansberg, Jay Leno, Jim Cornette, Chris Novoselic, Kim Bassinger, another Limbo Miranda, Sarah McLaughlin, Jeremy Bullock, the classic lineup of Slayer, plus their replacement drummer Paul, who crossed out Dave Lombardo's face while signing this, Jack Black, Justin Bieber, the cast of The Room Actors, Where Are They Now, plus Greg Sestero, Dave Prowse, the five children of the original Willy Wonka movie, Tony Hawk and Steve O, Randy Newman, Bill Conti, Jake Skull, Aaron Sanders, Johnny Depp, John Bon Jovi, and these two 
two are probably my favorite on this wall, and it is the original 1999 lineup of Slipknot, which is Joey Jordison, Paul Gray, who passed away about 10 years ago, Jim Root, Chris Fane, Mick Thompson, Corey Taylor, Craig Jones, Sid Wilson, and Clown, or Sean Cran. And since I'm a Metallica fan, I had to get this. This is signed sheet music that was used at the SM2 concert last year in San Francisco. And the song on the sheet music is Master of Puppets, which is it's not my favorite song, but it is definitely one of their greatest. And of course, it's signed by Kirk Hammett, Lars Ulrich, Robert Trujillo, and my personal favorite, James Hetfield. But it doesn't end there because I got a bunch more in my closet. Leon Hart, Snoop Dogg, MGK, Sam Smith, Ariana Grande, some members of the original Broadway cast of Aladdin, Taylor Swift, the current lineup of Slipknot, Lady Gaga, Slipknot, Sid Wilson, and Clown autographs I got in person, Megan Thee Stallion, Jason Newstead and his band, Katy Perry, Selena Gomez, Ice Peter and Epic Lloyd, another Taylor Swift, Demi Lovato, Billie Eilish, James Earl Jones, Peter Mayhew, Gabriel Iglesias, Excuse me, Luke Harper, I almost forget I had. <laughs> And I got a whole bunch of signed books. Here's another Steve-O. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Jackie Chan, David Blaine, Triple H, Buddy Epson, Larry King, Kristen Bell and Benjamin Hart, Hannah Corno, James Rallison, John Morello, PewDiePie, Natalie Portman, Carl Slover and Jerry Marin, who were munchkins in The Wizard of Oz, Anthony Daniels, aka C3PO, Jerry Seinfeld, President Jimmy Carter, Michael J. Fox, Julie Andrews, and Emma Walton Hamilton. But it doesn't end there because I got some signed playbills and I got two signed CDs. This is my fourth Steve-O and my second Tommy Wiseau. The cast of Avenue Q, another Hannah Corno, some of the cast of To Play That Goes Wrong off Broadway, Something Rotten, including Christian Borel, Network including Brian Cranston, four members of the 2019 cast of Hamilton, If and Then Playbill, signed by Indina Menzel, Lucky Guy, signed by Tom Hanks, and almost the entire cast of The Iceman Cometh, including Denzel Washington. And just when you thought it was over, it's not. I have a comic book signed by Mark Hamill and his cousin, Eric Jones. I have a whole letter that Joe Exotic wrote to me. Ted Neely, who played the original Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ Superstar in the movie. Here's another Taylor Swift I have. Here's Glenn Danzig. Here's a signed Kiss CD from 2003. Here's another Bret Hart. Road Warrior Animal. Unico and Camacho. Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Kelly Kelly. Daniel Bryan. Kofi Kingston. Art Truth. Evan Bourne. Dolph Ziggler. Tony Kimmel. Here's a Kevin Hart and Ice Cube. Jake Thompson. Here's another Ron Simmons. Got Alex Trebek. Here's a Stephen Ogg of The Walking Dead. I have another CD signed by the current lineup of Slipknot, plus Corey Taylor's signed solo album. Yeah, that's just about almost every autograph that I have. The other ones that I didn't show are either haven't arrived yet or I just am not able to bring them out at the moment. But I do have a bunch more on the way. I've been doing a lot of through the mail, which is a lot of what the smaller photos are. I'm hoping to get another one in person on March 14th. We're hoping to meet Tony Atlas and Thomas River, where he's doing a signing where I'm gonna give him this custom card that I made myself. This is a picture of him, obviously, and the card I designed myself, and it is an actual card. It's, on, it's not on print or paper, it's on card stock. When I give him this, I'm gonna ask him to sign the one that I made the one that I made <laughs> that has a signature box for him to sign, which will be really cool. And I'm hoping to get a video of that too. If I do, I'll make sure to put it up on here. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I never came up with an outro, so um, see ya.